Hi everyone, Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. I am here to do an all signs reading for you guys. And before we get started, we're going to uh, be uh, cleansing all the negative energies with this beautiful singing bowl from the rock space. They currently have 40% off. Uh, okay, guys. The uh, link is in the description box below as well as in my about page. And uh, not only do you get 40% off, guys, after they take 40% off, use my code Jamie, J-A-I-M-E. That's how you spell my first name. And you guys will get another 15% off after they've taken the 40% off, okay? So now's the time to buy all those spiritual gifts, okay, for everyone um, that uh, you uh, care for that uh, would enjoy these things. So just thought I'd let you guys know because it is quite the deal. Okay, so let's uh, cleanse these negative energies and then we're gonna get into the readings, okay? Let's get started. <laughs> All right, everyone, we're going to get into the uh, readings. Uh, all right, I'll be right back. All right, first up is the sign of Leo. And, uh, of course, I'm a Leo, guys. This is uh, my merch. And um, you can see um, the little DCT symbol here. And uh, the uh, coolest merch, guys, ever. So, uh, if you guys have been waiting... 30% off today, and I got this one just the other day that I've been wearing in all my videos. I mean, look how cute. Yeah, it's got a little stain there. Um, but anyway, I that's just stain remover that I put on it. <laughs> but uh, I know I'm a sloppy lady. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd share with you guys a couple of uh, items. And uh, I do have like a, a water bottle as well here. Let me grab it. Okay, so there's like water bottles, there's all sorts of different things. Uh, this is a uh, fudge de chocolat, which uh, is chocolate fudge in French. <laughs> so uh, there you go. So uh, now we're going to get into your uh, reading, guys. And remember, messages that don't resonate, leave them. Keep the ones that do resonate. It will make way more sense during the reading, okay? And uh, we're also going to clarify with the dice, and I do have uh, additional clarification here to see who you're dealing with. Uh, and we're going to be looking at, should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go now? You know, if you're in a situation where you're not sure if you should uh, stay or go or come back or whatever's going on, a tug of war with someone in a relationship, you know, you keep going back and uh, it's always the same crap. Mm -hmm. First letter we have is G. We've got W. J. Wild. What a surprise. J again. All right. That could be significant. The letter E. And uh, wild again, of course. And we've got S. Uh, S for uh, silly. <laughs> so we've got S and J twice. W, G, and E. So now we're going to see uh, what element you could be dealing with or what sun sign you could be dealing with for Leo's uh, spirit guys. Who is Leo dealing with? Who is dealing with a Leo? Who is Leo dealing with? Gemini. Okay, so this could have a lot to do with Gemini energy. So uh, curiosity, 
So this person is very curious, very intelligent, uh, very intellect, very somebody's very intellectual, and uh, and good at networking. Sounds uh, sounds pretty good. So uh, now we're gonna see uh, if you should stay or if uh, you should go. So uh, let's uh, have a peek at Leo's and see what's going on. So should Leo stay? Should Leo go? What should Leo do in this situation, spirit guys? What? <laughs> Two of cups. Well, I feel like this is a, a, a connection that perhaps in the beginning was amazing. Um, fulfilling. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You're somebody very grounded, balanced. You're very independent and you love your independence and you don't like people taking that from you. Two of Pentacles. Uh, balance is also very important to you in your life. So this person uh, that you're dealing with in your life, <laughs> well, well, we've got death and death is Scorpio energy. And this is needing to shed the past, be in the present rise like the phoenix here okay phoenix rising from the ashes so uh let's clarify these the two of cups two of cups spirit guys what is the meaning of the two of cups for leo's well 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 look who we have here Little Rico, Rico Suave, the, um, you know, neighborhood bicycle. Everyone's taking a ride on. Yeah, no more squeaking, guys. Isn't that great? Oh, love it. So at uh, Night of Wands. Uh, well, well, could begin with another uh, fire sign. And uh, we've got the Eight of Cups, letting go of emotional baggage. Letting go of emotionally what's not serving. You don't allow anyone to live rent-free in your mind. Especially uh, this uh, <clears throat> sexy thing. <laughs> I know sometimes it's hard to say no to that night of wands, but for your, uh, you know, for your greater good, you need to say no. No more. No more. Yeah, look, no more death. The Scorpio energy death. Okay, no more. Okay. <laughs> should I stay or should I go? You should go now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're independent, grounded, Leos. You don't need anybody to take care of you. You can take care of yourself all by yourself. Okay, and look at that, the Two of Cups. You will meet somebody else, uh, okay? I feel like you will meet somebody worth uh, worth your time. You're, you, want, you want love? This isn't love. Okay, it's, that's not love. You want the Ten of Cups or Ten of Pentacles? Well, you probably want the Ten of Cups too, but Ten of Pentacles is, uh, well... Having everything you want, need, desire, having some uh, monetary security and uh, security with the family. And, mm, and you're very independent and you're, you're looking for balance. Look at you, Leos. It's like you show up in your glory here in your energies. This is you, the Queen of Wands, la Reine de Baton. So uh, you are bold, confident, assertive and uh, courageous and strong and... Uh, you have everything you need to run your life all on your own. So uh, you need balance. You want somebody who's balanced in your life, right? Somebody who's not, you don't have to be your equal, but it can't be like, you know, I do 90%, you do 10? Yeah, not gonna work, okay? So the uh, two of pentacles here. The magician, le magicien. You can uh, make magic happen. You can create something magnificent. Look at that. The fool, Aquarius energy, taking a leap of faith and not overthinking, knowing that, you know what? This is something you need to set yourself free from and you need to free yourself. You can create the life it is that you want and deserve. And look at this. Le roi d'épée. And you had... Dealing possibly with Gemini energy. King of Swords is Gemini energy. So you could be dealing with uh, a King of Swords. And this person could be a uh, dominant, very, very intelligent, somebody in a position of power, such as a uh, police officer in the army and the Navy and the Marines, security, you know, something along those lines. And then we've got death, <laughs> Scorpio energy. Needing to let go. I feel like it's just uh, reminding you. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, a new beginning is just waiting around the corner. When one door closes, I firmly believe that a new door will open and it will be for my betterment. Yes, Leo, that is exactly what I'm getting for you. Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning. This is getting uh, a new promotion or a new career, or a new job or or a new relationship or getting engaged or getting married or buying a house. All those kind of big life changing events that happen in your life, right? They're just waiting. There's just a new door opening. Look at that. The chariot. This is victory, success, cancer energy. Changing the direction of your life will bring you the prosperity that you so deserve. And look, you have been, I feel like, um, alone. Even if you were in a relationship, I feel like you've been feeling really alone. And I feel like now it's just time to pull the plug. Okay, rip off that Band-Aid. I don't care how much hair is on it. Just rip it off and uh, take care of business. Let's see what we have for um, a soulmate card for you. All right, Leos. Probably make men cringe, okay, pulling that Band-Aid off. Us women, we rip our freaking mustaches right off. And chin hairs. Oh, my gosh, guys. I know you guys don't have problems for men, but for women, oh, my gosh. Like, I could grow, like, a really nice uh, chin beard. You know, kind of like uh, Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I try to trim it, but keeping up with that is just crazy. I even bought a laser hair remover. What garbage was that? Don't waste your money. Anyway, close your eyes, Leos. Whether you're in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. When I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart center. <coughs> wow, Leos. Your spiritual awareness is growing, and so too is your sexuality. S sensuality is heightened, and this has a magical effect. Ooh, 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 ooh. Isn't that crazy? You got the magician with the king of swords. This has a magical effect on the one you love. A sacred union is reborn. Love is the present moment. I feel like you're going to meet somebody new who is not cheating on you and you guys are going to have so much fun. I feel like this person is usually extremely dominant, but with you, they're like, you know what? I'll do whatever you want to do, baby. <laughs> you're like, really? <laughs> they're like, yep. Yeah, they they uh, want to give you free reigns to do whatever it is uh, you would like to do. I'm, I'm talking about in the bedroom, okay? <laughs> I'm not talking about, you know, with their credit card or anything like that. So don't get too excited. <laughs> Let's see what healing work we have for you guys, Leos. Action. Action. Satisfactions. Okay. Well, well. My divine action incites love and harmony. I'm aware my thoughts are driven by positive forces. I listen to my heart my desire to manifest light transforms tests into growth, uh, challenges into opportunities, and fear into love. Wow. I feel someone new is coming into your life. Uh, and I feel like this player energy, that's all they are. In and out. Wishy-washy. You know, selfish. Through the neighborhood bicycle. Everyone's taking a ride on, right? Oh, gotta say, guys, I love my new chair. I asked for a chair for Christmas, and I, I got her, and uh, thank goodness she uh, makes no noise. I don't know why I uh, think my uh, chair is feminine. I don't even know where that came from. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading, Leos. Uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It would really help support my channel because uh, it really needs it right now. And um, as well, if you guys would like to subscribe, I would be so grateful because uh, that would also help really support my channel. And uh, add anything in the comments down below about how you resonated with this reading. Tell me a little about it. I do read your messages, guys. I can't just get to all of them, but I do see them pop up on my phone and some of them give me uh, some chuckles because I feel like I'm, I mean, you guys chuckle. So uh, I see your reactions to certain things I said that I forgot about and then go, oh, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> gotcha. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, always a always a blessing to have you guys in my life. And uh, yeah, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, Leos. And uh, if you want a private reading, check out the description box down below and uh, send me an email and I will uh, get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, thank you so much, guys. And uh, love you more than you know. Bye. Hey Aries, Jamie here to buy Lee Canadian Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for you guys and uh, we're going to get started. We have the dice here and they have every letter of the alphabet on them, including for a while. I'm going to keep rolling until I have five different letters. This could help confirm your person's first name, their last name, your initials, their initials, really whatever helps you identify who it is you could be dealing with. Okay, Aries could even be a place in common. The letter U. X and uh, that one's on a peak, so nothing really. I. Oops, let me just turn that. And uh, what else do we have? The letter V. And uh, the letter B. B as in uh, you know uh, Bernice. So we've got. Uh, B, X, U, I, and V. And now we're going to uh, try and uh, confirm for you uh, who it is you could be dealing with. Their sun sign, their element. Uh, we're going to see what comes out uh, for Aries. Who's Aries dealing with, Spirit Guides? Who's Aries dealing with? Well, it could be a Capricorn. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, um, you know, earth energy. So it's uh, a Capricorn you're dealing with out of those uh, earth energies. And we've got this person is very uh, ambitious, realist and methodical uh, with their um, the way that they make decisions in their life, you know, and um, so if we get the king of pentacles, that could really be confirming who it is you're dealing with. So uh, now we're going to uh, see if uh, you should stay or if you should go. So if you're dealing with a situation where you're like, should I stay or should I go now? If I stay, it will be trouble. <laughs> oh, okay, let's see what happens here with the energies coming out to tell you what you should do here, Aries. Or what uh, could happen, <laughs> and uh, let's let's get started. Wow! Look at you, two of swords. There's you. Should I stay or should I go now? This is being stuck in a decision, contemplating, uh, over analyzing, um, not being able to make a decision, not wanting to make a decision. You know, wishing you didn't have to make a decision. <coughs> One sec. Sorry about that. Okay, I didn't want to cough in your ear there. So we've got the uh, Two of Swords. Okay, and then we've got, well, 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 the Queen of Cups, Aries. This represents water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You may have water in your chart. Otherwise, it doesn't matter if you don't, but you are very nurturing, loving, caring, protective energy. And people like to take advantage of you because you do forgive. And sometimes you get to the point where you're just like, dude or dudette, like, I've forgiven you enough times, man. This is done. You reach your limit. You reach your point, right? Well, 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 six of cups, guys. Look at that. You guys are naked, okay? Sexy little cuties. You can see your little butt crack there on that uh Unicorn you're right. Well, it's a rainbow unicorn. Okay, of all things. I mean, does it get better than that? Riding a, a rainbow unicorn naked with your soulmate? Come on. It doesn't get better than that. No, it doesn't. Prince of Swords, it always feels like somebody's watching me. Well, somebody has their eye on you. And is that the dilemma you're having? Are you trying to figure out if you should leave the current relationship that you're in for someone uh, who feels more like a soulmate energy to you? Two of swords. Uh, clarify that. Two of swords, please. Well, well, well. Le soleil, c'est Marie-Soleil. Bonjour. 
<laughs> yes, that's a French show I used to watch when I was a kid. Anyway, this is the sun. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Leo energy. Well, this is success, happiness. Uh, um, well, just. Um, wow. Okay. You are one grounded person, okay? And uh, you are just like, man, next time I have a relationship, you know, I am not giving and giving and giving as much as I give, you know. I'm holding on tight to dear life, to everything I've got. <laughs> wow, and we've got Juan de P. What's up with the uh, King of Swords, okay? Leo had the King of Swords, uh, a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Is that who you're dealing with? And you're wondering if you should stay with this person or not. But perhaps you've had enough of their shenanigans and uh, whatever those are. I know I'm old, eh? Who you still uses the word shenanigan? <laughs> it's like using the word like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Chesterfield for a couch, you know? <laughs> oh, mon dieu, ben, ben, tiens, the Ten of Pentacles, guys. This is... Um, Energy winning the lottery, uh, a large inheritance, uh, having security, family security, fi financial and uh, family security, building that family that you've always wanted. Well, well, well. Valet de Coupe. Somebody's got a crush on you. They're watching you. And I'm getting soulmate energy here with the Six of Cups. Is this somebody from your past or a past life energy that is feeling this connection toward you and they can't get enough of uh, wanting to come towards you? Are you kidding me? So not only do we have the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups, but now we've got Valet de Pontact, the Page of Pentacles. There could be a big age difference, okay? And, um, yeah, I'm feeling like you are definitely pulling your energies back from this King of Swords because you're sensing the more you pull back, the happier you seem to get. Right? And the freer you seem to feel. And you're just like, hmm, I think I want to ride naked on my rainbow unicorn with my soulmate. Come on. Come on. Look at Rendipi. Queen of Swords, uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. And perhaps your past person was, uh, you know, somebody who's very controlling. Somebody who's very difficult to deal with. Well, well, well. Love who we've got here. You know who your soulmate is, baby? Could it be another Aries or a Leo or a Sagittarius? A fire energy? Roi de Baton. Bold, confident, sexy, determined, successful. Wow. Okay, well, this, oh, here we go. The Nine of Swords. Uh, you've been having some sleepless night stress, anxiety. Why? Because you're deciding whether you should stay or go from this person. I feel like you've already pulled back a lot of your energies. You've already, you know, you're already um, not really present in the relationship anymore because you're like this. You're you're so undecided on what it is that you want to do. And I feel like somebody new has caught your attention and uh, you're, um, hi, you know, I'm over here. Well, 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 Laos de Baton, the Ace of Wands, a hot new beginning. Well, I see somebody new coming in your life. Are you effing kidding me? Two aces, baby. Got a, I got a question, yes or no question? Well, yes is the answer. Okay, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, a fiery, passionate new beginning that has a lot of love. Oh, c'est beau, c'est beau. Like, what is going on here? And last but not least, look, you need to let go of emotional baggage if you want this. You need to let go of the past, let go of the hurt, let go of this, um, you know, can't make a decision kind of energy and just ripped off that band-aid. Like I say, you know, I don't care how much hair is there. Just rip it off. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get you guys a soulmate card, Aries. And uh, so close your eyes, Aries, whether you are in a relationship or not right now. Um, feel your soulmate. Okay. And uh, feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to allow the words I read to resonate in your heart center. 
Simply breathe and relax, guys. While I do this for you. Oh, boy. I'm going to toot your horn here, okay, Aries? You are a beautiful and sensitive soul. Love's objective is to help you remember who you truly are. An eternal being of light on a path to ever greater love. Flying naked, your rainbow unicorn with your soulmate. It doesn't say that. I, I added that. <laughs> Love it. And guys, it's going to be hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, well, uh, let's get you guys a healing oracle Aries. And I do offer personal readings. Everything's in the description box down below. If you are interested, send me an email. And uh, if you can't find it, then uh, just send me an email and I'll... Uh, I'll, I'll reply to you as soon as I can, okay? I try to reply in 24 hours or less. So, uh, let's see what we've got for you guys for your Healing Oracle, Aries. Healing Oracle for Aries, Spirit Guides. Y yeah, this is what you need to hear. Acceptance. You need to accept the fact that you need to let this person go. And uh, move on with your life, okay? I accept that every step that life presents me and I pres and I follow without resistance, okay? I try to find out what the universe is trying to teach me so that I can grow. Thus, I advance in freedom on the path to light. Uh, yeah, I feel like toward, you know, uh, another fire sign perhaps. Uh, <laughs> this... Uh, this connection is hot. I'm surprised the table didn't catch fire. <laughs> well, Aries, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It would really help support my channel since uh, it really needs it at this time. And I'm going to turn off that volume once I pause. <laughs> and uh, hit subscribe, please. That would be so um, appreciated since uh, my channel has just really come to a halting uh pause for some reason and um, share the reading with anybody you feel would enjoy uh, these messages and uh, really perhaps uh, need to hear them and uh, that's what i have guys so have a great morning night evening afternoon wherever you guys are I just love you bye Hi Sagittarius, Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot I'm here to do your reading without a squeaky chair listen, nothing squeaks, I love it Oh, I asked Santa for a new chair and my family uh, got together and uh, pitched in and got me this amazing chair. It's like, oh my goodness, I could like take a nap on here. It's uh, called Secret Labs or something like that. Like seriously, it's magnetic. Yeah, Secret Lab. Anyway, it just like, yeah, <laughs> I was spoiled there, I tell you that. Anyway, let's get into your reading. And remember to leave all the messages that don't resonate, okay? Otherwise, it gets very confusing. We're starting off with the dice. Could confirm your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, really whatever helps you confirm who it is you're dealing with. And it could be even a place you guys have in common, right? First letter is L. N. C. F as in uh, Fabio, and N as in uh, Nicole, and T as in uh, Teresa, okay? So we've got T, F, C, N, and L. And if your person's letter didn't come out, don't worry about it, but um, we're going to see what element you could be dealing with. It could be their sun sign or their element, and we'll let's uh, see what's coming out for Sagittarius. Please confirm who Saggy is dealing with. Could be an Aries. So another fire sign. Watch the Emperor come out over and over and over again. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, so now let's get into your reading. And we're going to see, should I stay or should I go? Uh, so if you're dealing with a situation with someone and you're not sure if you should stay in this connection or not, even if it's a friendship, um, even if it's family, you know, sometimes it's like uh, for your greater good, you need to, uh, to let this person out and keep this person out of your life. Be honest, I don't talk with my two sisters. It just is what it is. That's a whole nother ball game. 
So let's see what we have for you guys, Sagis. Should you stay or should you go? The magician. Well, you've got some free will and you can manifest whatever it is that you want and desire. Magic is in your life right now, Sagis. Look at this. Are you kidding me? You're giving off the Empress energy. Well, 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 you are, you know, the king of the castle, the queen of the castle. And I'm a dirty rascal. Although we used to say something else, right? <laughs> oh, boy. The synergies of new beginnings. Um, I feel like you know what you I, I already know what you want to do. I just feel like you need somebody to direct you to that area. Oh, mon dieu. You know how I was saying you could be dealing with an Aries? Well, look who comes out. The sexy uh, king of wands. Uh, so it could be another Sag you're dealing with, or an Aries, or uh, a Leo. Rrr. Well, well, well. And uh, you are guarded as ever. Seven of wands. Just going to grab a quick drink. All right, sorry about that. Now let's clarify these energies. Let's clarify the magician, okay, spirit guides. Why is the magician here? What is it representing for Sagittarius? Why is it here? What is it showing you? I feel like it's telling you you can have whatever it is you want in your life, but you need to stay grounded while you are um, making this magic happen. Look at this, la mort. That is death, Scorpio energy. You know, be in the present. Let the past go. You know, you have magic available in your uh, possession right now. Eight of Wands. And I feel like once you let go, it's uh, smooth sailing from there. Perhaps at a high speed. So you could be even deciding to move. Okay, it could also be you're getting some communication from someone uh, who, um, you know, you have met already before in your life. <sighs> well, 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 you sexy thing, you. Arrende de baton. Here you are, Sanji. This is you. You're bold. You're confident. You're assertive. You're successful. You're fire. You know, you're like, uh, you know, the lioness. Uh, the queen of the jungle. <laughs> and now we've got the Empress, the mother of all queens of tarot. So uh, you are a lot more uh, powerful and stronger than you gave yourself credit for, Sag. And I feel like you do need to put an end because I feel like you can create this magic um, that uh, yeah, needing to shed emotional baggage, guys. The emotional baggage is what is like the barrier of being able to move forward for you. Are you kidding me? The magician, the magician. Magic is in the air. Yeah. You can create whatever you want, but you need to let go of emotional baggage. I mean, you can't carry that everywhere you go. You can't let anybody live rent free in your mind and accept to live a comfortable life, right? You're letting them live comfortable. Yeah, exactly. Le jugement, judgment, a wake up call for you. Okay, I feel like you just needed uh, somebody to smack you around there. Good thing you were not, you're not in front of me, right? Because that could have hurt. Probably would have. It reminds me of Moira, Moira from Shit's Creek. <laughs> if you've ever watched the show Shit's Creek, I know it's a Canadian show, but it is so freaking hilarious. Kirsten and I watched it when she was in the hospital when she had leukemia last year, my daughter. Anyway, that's a whole nother uh, can of worms. Uh, well, 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 seven of pentacles. You've been looking at your life and you've been, uh, you know, deciding what direction. Am I going back to, uh, you know, Bozo or Bozette? Or uh, am I uh, looking at this sexy fire sign right in front of me who uh, could be also an Aries energy? But uh, you're pretty guarded there. Well, well, well. I just put the Aries energy back and look who comes out. <laughs> L'Empereur, the Emperor. Aries energy. The father of all kings of terror. Very powerful masculine energy. And we got the Empress here. So uh, I feel like uh, your Emperor is waiting for you. And uh, yeah. Should I stay or should I go? Well, you should go. 
Bye bye, mon cowboy. Bye bye, mon gigolo. I know I'm no Mitsu, but uh, you know, she is one cutie. I love her music. Her, well, her, her bye bye, mon cowboy. Everybody knows that one, right? Six of Wands. Leo energy. You could be dealing with somebody who is Leo energy in a position of power, authority, uh, because we've got the King of Wands here as well. Man, oh man, but we've got Aries energy here too. So uh, just keep that in mind. I mean, with who you are dealing with, because uh, these energies could really help you um, confirm who this is. This person could run a business, a corporation, have a lot of people that they manage. Uh, but they do with a lot of grace. This person is very intelligent. Um, you know, uh, they could be older than you. If not, they're very mature for their age as well. So the seven of wands here. Ha <laughs> Roi de Pentacle is the king of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You know, there's. I feel like there's more than one energy coming into your life. Well, well, well. Valet de Coupe. I feel like this camp pentacles has a crush on you, like a big crush on you. And I have no idea why I'm talking like that, but uh, they do have feelings. Uh, wow. Wow. Qu'est-ce qui se passe ici? Là? Je comprends pas, là, mais ça va bien. We've got the Ace of Cups. I said, I don't know what this is, but it's going pretty well for you. <laughs> a new beginning in love. Yeah. I've been saying you need to go. I mean, judgment, wake up call, death, needing to put the past in the past. Eight of Wands, even if you're if you're desiring moving, like physically moving, but you're terrified of, uh, I see nothing but a great outcome. And I see new love coming into your life. So uh, sounds really good to, to me for you. So, uh, Sagis, let's get you a soulmate card. So uh, close your eyes. Whether you're in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence, feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart centers. Center, not centers. We don't have more than one. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I'm sure somebody would comment that, so I thought I'd throw it in there. <laughs> okay, I know there's this, a lot of smart alecks out there who like to just throw their five cents in there, eh? It's okay. Throw your five cents in there. It's funny. <laughs> Let us be the love we seek. Let us be the change we wish to see. Let us give freely to one another without condition, for it is in giving we receive. And I feel like that's what's going to be so different with this person or these uh, new uh, potentials, uh, love potentials in your life that you, um, you know, can see uh, that uh, it's like... Equal give and take. It's not like take, 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 like, uh, you know, you uh, have been feeling in the past. Let's get you a healing oracle, Sagis. Healing oracle for Sagittarius. We've got action, action, satisfaction. Yeah. So that looks like a, you know, a, a big, big heart. And this says my divine action incites love. And harmony. I am aware of my thoughts and driven by positive forces. I listen to my heart. My desire to manifest light transforms tests into growth, uh, challenges into opportunities, and fear into love. Uh, yep. Uh, I feel new loves coming in your life, and uh, you're going to have uh, a choice, I feel like, perhaps between uh, two people. And uh, yeah, because you're a cute little hottie. Yes, you are. Well, Sag, you're fire, right? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I do offer personal readings. Check out the description box down below. Click on the more, expand the description box below, and you will then find all of the payments and uh, the types of readings that are uh, available. And uh, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. So it is filling up fast, the personal readings. So if you want one, get to me soon, because uh, once I get like eight of them under my belt, I pretty much have to tell everyone else it's going to be a bit longer than three to five business days. So with that said, guys, uh, 
Have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, and don't forget to thumbs up the reading. It would really help support my channel. Uh, I've been at 117,000 for the last few months now, and uh, I used to uh, go up three to 4,000 uh, subscribers um, every 28 days. So um, I'm not sure what's going on, but uh, if uh, you guys could uh, help me out, that'd be great. Uh, no need to hit that bell unless you really want to, you know. I'm not going to stop you. And uh, share the reading with anybody who you feel uh, could be uh, needing these messages. So uh, thank you guys so much. And don't miss the uh, merch sale tomorrow. 30% off all merch. Okay, guys. Have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are, Sajis. Love you more than you know. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Hi Capricorn, Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. I'm here to do your reading, so uh, let's get into it. First, we're going to start with the dice. They have every letter of the alphabet on them, including four wild. I'm going to keep rolling until I have five different letters. Could turn out it confirms your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, spells their name. You know, really whatever helps to identify who it is you're dealing with. Okay, it could be a place even. The letter P. And the letter H. And then the letter M. The letter K. And last but not least, uh, W. So we've got W, H, P, M, or K. And guys, if your person's letter didn't come out, don't worry about it. You may resonate way more with the reading. And keep in mind uh, that uh, my readings are timeless, so it could have happened already. could be happening right now. It could be happening in your future. Now we're going to confirm what uh, sun sign you're dealing with or what element you're dealing with, depending on what comes out. Look at that. We've got uh, Earth. So you can be with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And uh, this says they uh, they uh, have persistence, patience, and practicality. So uh, you're dealing with a fellow uh, Earth sign. So it could be another Cappy. We're gonna we're gonna see what comes out, guys. Let's get into your reading. Okay, should I stay or should I go? Is what we're gonna find out for you guys, Cappies. So let's see what we've got. Should I stay or should I go now? If I stay, there will be trouble. Uh-huh. Let's see what we have for you. Who is Cappy's... <laughs> What's Cappy going on? What's Cappy going to be doing? Well, uh, Nine of Cups. This is going after your desires. Making your dreams a reality. Not allowing others to control your life and doing what it is that brings you. Are you kidding me? The Ten of Cups. Happily ever after. In the end. Wow. And death. Scorpio energy. Yeah. Should you stay or should you go? Well, what do you think this energy is? Need to let go of the past and making room for a better life. The phoenix is rising from the ashes there. And there's a butterfly there. Wow, wow, wow. Cappies, what kind of reading is this? You are somebody who just gets done. I mean, come on. You, uh, you're somebody who's uh, very independent, very grounded, very successful. You know, you, uh, you can handle your life all on your own. You don't need anybody to hold your hand, right? So um, let's clarify these. I'm feeling like you are very independent. Why would you stay in a situation you know you're questioning and don't possibly want to be in, right? Like, come on, lying, cheating, stealing. You've got this feeling that they are doing something, okay? They're seeing other people behind your back or they're cheating on you or something's going on here. We've got le fou, the fool. This is Aquarius energy. This is you needing to take a leap of faith and uh, releasing this uh, deceptive energy you have in your life. Well, well, well. Is this who you're dealing with and not the king of wands? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, hot, sexy fire sign. Well, well, I mean, if they're, uh, that's what they're bringing to you. We're going to find out. We're going to clarify that ten of cups here. 
Wow, disappearing like a fart in the wind. Parti comme un pet dans l'air. Wow. I, I keep hearing as we could have had it all. Rolling in the deep. You had my heart inside of your hands. And you played it to a beat. <laughs> mm -hmm, yep, Cavalier de Pentacle. You know, I feel like you were just kind of um, trying to figure out what was going on, but I, you could feel the deception. You could feel like there was something going on, but you weren't doing anything about it. You were just kind of like, um, you know, I, I don't know, if tolerating it. I, I hope that's not what's, yeah, look at this. Eight of Swords. Is that what you were doing? This is putting yourself in a self-imposed prison in your mind, feeling like you're not worth any more than that. So, uh, mm -hmm, why would you think that? Wow, you are worth way more than what somebody values you for. Remember that. Okay? Because some people, their opinion shouldn't even matter to you. It shouldn't, right? I mean, people's opinions, period, shouldn't matter to you. Do you think I give a rat's butt what people think about me? I don't want to be here. Oh, Lord. Leo Font, the Hierophant, Taurus energy. Well, this is uh, learning a lot from a situation, which uh, I feel like you have. You're realizing I need to let go of this dark energy that I'm in because it's not doing me any favors. Is the Eight of Swords, right? Leo Font is Taurus energy. Could be a Taurus you're dealing with because we had Earth energy coming out. But uh, this is somebody who, um, you know, you have learned a lot from or it's an energy of having learned a lot of lessons that brought you to this point that gave you this independence that you have. Well, well, la force Leo energy. Stronger than you give yourself credit for. And I feel like that's what is what you learned and uh, le deux de baton, the two of wands. Uh, needing to make a choice moving forward. Are you going to go through the door or are you not? It's up to you. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Uh, clarify the Queen of Pentacles, Spirit Guys. Le pendu. You know you can run your life all on your own and you keep self-sacrificing your happiness, your life. Things, you know, that you do to please everyone else uh, because you don't want anybody to be mad at you or you don't want anybody to not like you. So you bend over backwards for others sometimes. Gotta stop doing that. Invest in your energies. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. This could be something that you have learned a lot. I mean, with the uh, Hierophant here and now the Eight of Pentacles. And I feel like you are very focused on your job, your occupation. And last but not least, the two swords. Should I stay or should I go? Do you still actually have this question? Because I'm feeling like there is an energy here that does not want to be here. And I feel like if they ghosted you or dumped you, they did you a favor, right? And I feel like perhaps you were not making a choice or a decision. And uh, they just jetted. And I feel like that just kind of opened the door to... Uh, you know, new beginnings for you to finally uh, heal from it and realize that, you know, going through these situations only create strength for you that makes you a stronger person than you've ever realized you were, right? Okay, well, now let's uh, see what soulmate card comes out for you guys, Cappies. Close your eyes, whether uh, you're in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart center. Wow. Okay. This is crazy. And I feel like that is exactly what this is here. Dwelling on the past keeps me from experiencing the power of now. I make a conscious choice to be present. I accept love. I'm grateful for your love. Sable. Sable, Sable, Sable. Okay, let's see what healing oracle we have for you guys. 
healing oracle please for the sign of capricorn spirit guides what message does capricorn need to hear inner work wow you know it okay and i feel like that's why the hair font is here in the eight of pentacles and the uh, hanged man doing a lot of inner work, right? God brings me ideal situations for my inner healing. As I become aware of my weaknesses, I turn them into strengths. We were just talking about that. I direct my thoughts toward the light and see the positive side of every stage of my life. Uh, darkness turns into courage. Thus, I get stronger. Absolutely. Loved this reading for you guys. I do offer personal readings. Everything's in the description box down below. Expand it as much as you can, and then you will see uh, the readings available and the prices and my email. So just send me an email if you're interested. I already have four bookings uh, in the last day. So uh, guys, if you are looking for a reading, please uh, sign up soon. Otherwise, I'm going to have to let you know that it's going to be a bit longer than three to five business days, and it can then be your choice if you're willing to uh, wait but uh, yeah I uh, can't be uh, you know booking my overbooking myself and uh, overwhelming myself so uh, anyway I've got room for like another four so if you can get in there um, do so as soon as you can so with that said guys have a great morning night evening afternoon wherever you guys are in this world and uh, Cappies I appreciate you so so much and before I let you go the merch is on 30% set off okay tomorrow on my channel so uh guys check it out if there is any merch that you've had your eye on that you really want like that cool sweatshirt i was wearing uh yesterday that uh, teal uh, color oh it's nice i should have brought it i i uh, left it in the other room but anyway uh guys perhaps i'll uh, go grab it and you can look uh, a little later or and i did show it at the beginning of the video so there check it out at the beginning okay guys so uh, that's pretty much what i got campy so uh, have a great morning night evening afternoon and don't forget to thumbs up uh my my video guys because it really uh, helps support my channel because it's been doing a little crappy lately okay lately the last six months and um subscribe to my channel would really help me out too guys uh, i could really use your support and uh, share the reading with anyone who you feel maybe in need to hear these messages love you guys way more than you know cappies love you bye Hey Taurus, Jamie here to finally Canadian Tarot. I'm here to do your reading, so let's get into it. And uh, we're starting off with the dice. They have every letter of the alphabet on them, including for a while. I'm going to keep rolling until I have five different letters. Could confirm your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, really. Whatever helps you identify who it is you could be dealing with, Taurus. All right, first letter we have is uh, wild, of course. And wild again. Oh, this is going to be a wild reading, is it? The letter L. And next we have is the letter U. And next we have the letter A. V. B. Okay, so we've got L, A, U, V, and B. So if your person's letter didn't come out, don't worry about it. You may resonate more with the reading. So uh, let's get into it, Taurus. We're going to see if you should stay or go. Actually, before we do that, we're going to see what element you could be dealing with. And happy Thanksgiving to my uh, American friends. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are from uh, the U.S. and you're celebrating Thanksgiving. So I hope you have a very happy Thanksgiving with your family. And uh, that you're watching me while you uh, digest your uh, big fat meal. <laughs> Because we always have big freaking meals, right, on those days. Wow, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, so another Earth sign. So uh, there you go, Taurus. Let's uh, see what comes out here. Should you stay or should you go, Taurus? Should I stay or should I go? Do, 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 do. Should I stay or should I go now? Okay, well, we're going to find out, Taurus. Six of Swords. Uh, <laughs> This is um, <clears throat> kind of answering it right off the bat. Six of Swords is needing to let go of drama. In drama, conflict, you know, anything that's kind of weighing you down. And you know that it's just, um, 
It's not going to change. It's just going to be, oh my goodness. Knight of Swords, Taurus. What are you dealing with here? A narcissist? Somebody's always, uh, you know, up to no good. Uh, perhaps somebody who's very um, aggressive. Uh, doesn't have to be physically or mentally aggressive, but I'm feeling that kind of an energy in Two of Pentacles. Wow. I really need to clarify these. And Four of Cups. Okay. Should you stay or should you go? Is this what you look like? Because if this is what you look like, what do you think you should do, man? G T F N O, man. And you know what that stands for. So let's uh, clarify these uh, Taurus and see what's going on here. Six of Swords. Uh, clarify the Six of Swords. <laughs> Le Pendu. You have self sacrificed enough of your life your happiness for everybody else. And it's your time, Taurus. You really need to let go. The hey man is having like a, an epiphany, an awakening going like, oh my goodness, what have I been doing this entire time? You know, you're sitting on the couch and you're watching TV and you're just eating a snack. And next thing you know, you go in the bag and there's none left. And you don't even remember eating half the bag. Yeah, not worth the calories, right? Same kind of deal. <laughs> Holy shit, effing freaking bonkers. Uh, yep, that's the, uh, the snack of the devil. <laughs> okay. All that yummy temptation that you, you know, let yourself, uh, you know, give into. And then you wish you hadn't. Oh my goodness, if you release this, look. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Oh, my, my, my. And we got the Knight of Swords here. So, uh, Taurus, I feel like you're dealing with an energy that needs to uh, go bye bye like a while ago. Look, Eight of Cups. So not only do you have the Six of Swords needing to let go of emotional baggage, you've got the Eight of Cups needing to let go of, uh, you know, all of this uh Pretty much letting somebody live rent free in your mind, okay? So let go drama, conflict, emotional baggage that you're carrying. What happened? How it happened? How much it hurt? You know, let let it go, man. Let it go. I feel like that's your your barrier. Of course, four swords heal. Take whatever you need to take time. You know, a vacation to heal to find some peace. You know, kind of uh, re, uh, what do you call it? Like recenter yourself, you know? Get your bearings. Le fou, the fool. Aquarius energy, taking a leap of faith and not overthinking about it, not overanalyzing it. And then the two of pentacles here. We're going to clarify the uh, two of pentacles, Taurus. Eight of swords. Yeah, you're in a self imposed prison in your mind. Letting somebody live rent-free in there. Okay, it's time to evict them today. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Wow, of course it is. Five of Swords is a deceptive energy. Somebody trying to do some sh behind your back that they shouldn't be doing. Oh, what a surprise. Le monde, the whole new world. You need to uh, close that chapter of your life. Absolutely. Like, let it go, man. Take a leap of faith. You you need to free yourself. There's so much sword energy here. So you're holding on too much, too much conflict, anger, tension, um, regret, upset, you know, just feeling um, really sad and deceived. And yeah, you, you need to snap out of that one. Look, le jugement, judgment there. You wake up. This is the dead waking from their coffin, rising up to their new life. <laughs> mm hmm. Finally realizing what they've been wasting. Four of cups, four of cups. Yeah, they haven't been happy times two. So you have not been happy at all. And I feel like you needed this awakening. Look at that. La tempérance. Uh, this is uh, the temperance Sagittarius energy. An energy of healing, guardian angel energy, an energy of protection, of balance. 
And I feel like you're going to finally get that balance in your life once you wake up and pull the plug, okay? Eviction is today. Seriously. I'm not kidding with you, okay? You get her done. Rip off that Band-Aid. Like I said, I don't care how many hairs are on there. Rip it off. It's got to go. So, okay. So, Taurus, close your eyes whether you're in a relationship or not. Focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart center. Wow, uh, this is what exactly you need to hear, okay? Life is forever changing in accordance with nature's divine will. May we lovingly embrace life's changing seasons in the knowledge that all is as it should be and that love is all there is. And that is exactly what the energy of the world is, is finally seeing that life is all about changing seasons. And everything that is happening is all happening the way that it needs to happen. I mean, look, it's like a, an eyeball, right? I can see clearly now. Mm hmm. Let's get you a, a healing oracle, uh, Taurus. And uh, see what we've got for you. And happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys are having a good one. Okay, so uh, let's see what we've got for Taurus's energy for a healing oracle. The calm. Can you imagine? I breathe, live, and grow light within me. I do one thing at a time and focus on the present moment. I cast off my doubts. All fear dissipates. And I find peace in my being. Love your reading. Oh, wow. And I hope that uh, you guys resonated with it. And if you if you did, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Uh, even if I entertained you, I could really use your support right now. My channel has been just really draining for some reason. Uh, very. Uh, let's just say I'm going down faster than a mudslide. So if you guys uh, could want to help support me, hit that subscribe and uh, hit that bell. I know that not uh, everybody likes the bell because it does create a lot of notifications. So if you're not into that, I won't be offended, okay, because I only have three uh, channels I have the bell on for. So anyway, um, but uh, yeah, if you guys uh, would like to help support my channel as well, I do do personal readings. Check out the description box down below. I have room for four more. I already got four in the last couple of days. So uh, if you're looking for a personal reading, make sure you get in there. Otherwise, it'll be longer than three to five business days. So just keep that in mind. If uh, you do send me an email and I let you know I'm a little on the uh, full side. Um, <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading and uh, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are in this world, Taurus. Love you more than ever because you guys, I'd be nothing without you. So thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hi, Virgos. Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. Let's get into your reading. We're starting off with the dice here. They have every letter of the alphabet on them, including for a while. I'm going to roll until I have five different letters. Could confirm your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, really whatever helps you identify who you're dealing with. First letter, of course, is a wild. We've got the letter K. M. N C and we have a T as in uh, Teresa. So we've got T, C, N, M, and K. So uh, there you go, guys. Let's see if we've got, uh, you know, exactly who it is you're dealing with. We'll see if their sign comes out or their element. Uh, and uh, that can help narrow down who it is you're dealing with, Virgos. Who is Virgo dealing with, Spirit Guys? A Taurus. So uh, another Earth sign. And this is uh, somebody who you can trust, someone very patient, and someone very sensual. Oh, sounds uh, sexy. So uh, now let's uh, see what's going on here. Should you stay or should you go, right? Is uh, why we're here. So should I stay or should I go now? If I stay, there will be trouble. 
Let's see what we've got. Energies for Virgos. Remember to leave what doesn't resonate, okay? And well, well, what do we have for you? Princess of Pentacles. Uh, so uh, we'll see what this is all about when we bring out all these energies. <laughs> Love it. Six of Cups, soulmate energy. I mean, look at you. You're naked riding a rainbow unicorn with your soulmate. That's not, isn't like nothing really matches that one, right? Nothing compares to that. Oh my goodness. The Two of Pentacles. Uh, this is love for sure, is what I'm seeing. Is this a new offer? Somebody going to be asking you out on a date? Somebody's going to be asking you out and perhaps you are still with somebody you don't even think you want to be with anymore, but you're feeling these energies with someone new. Mm-hmm. Hi, Priestess. You're wondering, like, should I uh, let go of the uh, person I'm with and uh, move, um, you know, in this new direction? Well, that's what your intuition is for, that gut, that instinct, that little uh, voice in your head that helps you out. It's not there for decoration, uh, right, Virgos? Let's clarify these. Okay, let's clarify these energies for Virgos. And this person could be younger than you as well, okay? Doesn't have to be. But there is that potential. Are you kidding me? And you saw these just fell out. We've got the uh, King of Cups and we've got the uh, Six of Swords, Le Six d'Epée, Le Roi de Coupe. So uh, what I'm getting here is that there is a lot of drama and conflict and a, a situation perhaps between you and uh, this person. Let's let's see. Well, we've got the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you pulled back your energies from this person, and uh, you know what you need to do. You know you don't want to stay unhappy, and you're not happy. Is this a new person coming in though? Well, well, well. We've got the Three of Cups celebrations, parties. Is this where you're gonna run into uh, a soulmate energy. Could be. And look at that. The five of pentacles uh, being ghosted, dumped, left out in the cold. And, um, you know, I feel like um, perhaps the person you were dealing with was uh, not very present. You know what I mean? Like you, you're in a relationship, but you feel alone. <laughs> Six of pentacles. Yeah. I feel like you're just giving, 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 and uh, they weren't giving anything back. And the Two of Cups. <laughs> the Nine of Cups, guys. Wishes coming to fruition, okay? Making your dreams become a reality. Valet de Pentacle. I feel like there is new love coming in. I don't know if this person's going to ask you to go to a party, a celebration. Could be a Christmas party for some of you guys. Uh, but I, I feel like, yeah, yeah, look, you're in your energies. Virgo, look at you. Reine de Pentacle is the queen of Pentacles. Uh, and I feel like you know exactly what it is that you want and what you don't want. And you haven't been happy with this person. Perhaps you were at one time happy with them. But uh, I'm feeling like that is not... Uh, the case any longer so we've got the high priestess here clarify the high priestess the seven of pentacles looking at your life and what you've done with it and deciding hey am i going back to the same energy that i've been unhappy in because it's familiar it's comfortable or am i going to uh, let myself take a leap of faith and go into the unknown the fool's not here, but I'm feeling that in, intuitively that, you know, taking a leap of faith, this is having a spiritual awakening, the judgment, right? This is the dead, okay, letting uh, themselves out of their coffin, leaving their past life and uh, coming into a, their new life, their new beginning. And it's a realization, too, for some. Are you kidding me? Chevalier de Coupe. You are going to have love in your life. And I feel like this could be somebody who invites you 
to a party, a gathering. Like I said, it could be a Christmas party, it could be an engagement, a wedding. Um, but I'm feeling like there is definitely somebody who is uh, coming into your energies. So let's see what we've got for a soulmate card for you guys, Virgos. Close your eyes. Whether you're in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart center. All right, Virgos, my love is like an ocean, forever longing for your shore. You are an eternal ocean of love. I close my eyes and my heart is filled with rose quartz. I think someone's a poet. They don't even know it. <laughs> okay, so now let's see what we have here for a healing oracle for you guys, Virgos. What healing oracle message do you have for the sign of Virgos, Spirit Guys? And I do offer personal readings, guys. Everything's in the description box below. You may have to expand it a little bit more. Uh, just keep clicking on more and it'll keep opening up. And uh, you can select what reading you would like and uh, send me an email. And uh, like I've been telling everyone, I already have four books, so I'm only going to take four more. So uh, you need a book soon or I may be letting you know when you email me that it may be a little bit longer than three to five business days for your reading. OK, we've got goodness. I refine my character and overcome difficulties by remaining positive. I calm my heart and illuminate my intellect to transform shadow into light. Okay, and I consciously manifest goodness in and around me. I improve all my qualities for the benefit of all. Oh, I wish we all felt like that. It would be such a beautiful place. Uh, instead, we've got crime shows I'm addicted to. <laughs> Can you do, man? Anyway, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to hit thumbs up. Would really help support my channel because it's on its way down the tubes for some reason. And um, yeah, if you uh, wouldn't mind subscribing or making sure you're subscribed um, on the, the bell, if you uh, turn that bell on, it'll give you notifications and you'll never miss a reading from me. And if uh, you hit the bell and that's annoying, I totally uh, get you. So uh, I only have the bell on for three uh, channels. So I uh, totally know uh, what you mean there. And uh, yeah, that's what I have, guys. So have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, wherever you guys are in this world, Virgos. And I'll see you guys very soon. I love you more than you know. I'd be nothing without you. Bye-bye, Virgo. Hey, guys. Jamie here. I'm uh, going to be doing Pisces now. So it's your turn. And let's get into your reading, Pisces. And um, these are the dice. Uh, every letter of the alphabet are on them, including four. Wow, I'm going to keep rolling until I have five different letters. This could confirm who you're dealing with, their person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, a place you guys have in common, could even spell your name or theirs. You know, whatever helps you identify who it is you're dealing with. We've got the letter M. Letter V. A. U. And of course, wild. The letter H. So we've got M, V, A, U, and H. And if your person's letter didn't come out, don't worry about it. You may resonate way more with the reading. Okay, and uh, we're going to see what element or sun sign you're dealing with, Pisces. So let's see what we've got. Who's Pisces dealing with, Spirit Guys? Okay, we've got Sagittarius. Uh, hot, sexy fire sign. Yeah, baby. Rrr. So this is optimism. So this person is very positive and they love to explore and uh, they enjoy their freedom. Okay, let's get into the reading now. And uh, as I said, messages may or may not resonate. Leave the ones that don't to resonate. Keep the ones that do. Otherwise, it could get confusing. Okay, so let's see what comes out for you. Should you leave this person? Should I stay or should I go? Are you kidding me? Should you stay or should you go and look at the first two energies? Ten of Swords is uh, needing to put an end to, to uh, a lot of uh, conflict, drama. I mean, look at the uh, electricity around there. There's too much energy flowing here. You got to turn the power off. Uh, and then the moon going into the unknown fear, worry, stressing, you know, um, 
Very interesting uh, energies to uh, begin with. And I've got the uh, three cups. Celebrate. Okay, well, perhaps you've just uh, ended things already. And now you're you're afraid or you're about to end things and you're just fearing moving into the unknown. Well, well, uh, we've got the King of Pentacles. Uh, we've got Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, okay, well, uh, let's clarify these energies and uh, see uh, what we get. Should, uh, should Pisces stay or should Pisces go, Spirit Guides? Ten of Swords. Uh, <laughs> Rico! Suave! The neighborhood bicycle. Everyone's taking a ride on. Mm-hmm. I mean, look how sexy they are. I mean, can't say no, but you got to. Okay, for uh, for your betterment. Look, Eight of Cups. You're emotionally not happy. This person's not fulfilling you in the ways that you need to. Okay, they may be fulfilling other parts of you that you enjoy, but the parts that you uh, need uh, to be fulfilled in your life, not your body, um, this person can't quite seem to uh, give that to you. Mm -hmm. And you learn this, Eight of Cups, you're like, yeah, no matter what, um, I'm not getting f what I want from this connection I'm having. And the moon, it's like, oof. you know, this is going nowhere fast is what you've come to realize. OK. The uh, the moon, Pisces energy. <laughs> Jesus, I can see what's going on here. Seven of Swords, lying, cheating, stealing. I mean, look at them. They're trying to, like, sneak over and grab those other two swords. But uh, for some reason, uh, they don't think uh, they're able to get it. But they need to grab them because they don't want them used against them. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, banana bonkers, guys. Le diable, the devil, Capricorn energy. Okay, guys, and we've got uh, that you are dealing potentially with a fire sign. So uh, I don't feel well, I mean, it could be that they have devil energy, uh, you know, as well. Very toxic. I mean, no wonder you're feeling this uh, this dark energy. I mean, you've got the devil and the seven of swords here. So those together are not really, uh, really good. Well, 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 what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Yeah, baby. Six of wands. Leo energy, victory, success. Uh-huh. I feel like you're being recognized, I feel, for um, being so strong and letting go of this connection. And this could even be you feeling victorious with yourself, going, I did it! I did it! <laughs> Pat yourself on the back. You did it. Reine de Corbetien. Look who's here. It's you. Gang Queen of Cups, Spices, Cancer, Scorpio, this is you. You've got so much love to give, but people take advantage of you. And it sucks that people do that. Are you kidding me? Somebody is crushing on you? Mm -mm. And it could be this uh, King of Pentacles energy, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Are you kidding me? Wow, wow, wow. La Reine de Baton is the Queen of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. You're hot, sexy, bold, confident, assertive. And uh, I feel like they like your energy. Why? Because you know what you want, baby. And uh, you are educated and you don't have any needy energies about you. You're like, I can manage my life on my own. I don't need to take care of somebody. And <laughs> nor does anyone need to take care of me. They love this about you. Look at that. Taking a leap of faith. Uh, you know, don't overthink, don't overanalyze, go with it. If it feels right, it feels good, don't overanalyze it. Well, 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 look at, if it feels good and it feels right, they're out here twice. King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign coming into your, your energies, guys. And last but not least, a little font, the hair font. Marriage, commitment. <laughs> You know, I, I feel like this was just a whole learning experience for some of you guys, you know. But I feel like this brings love into your life. Learning that players only love you when they're playing. It's true. Let's see what we've got for a soulmate card for you guys, Pisces. 
Close your eyes and whether you're in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart center. You are loved more than you consciously know, Pisces. Share your insecurities with that one person that you love. You will be so surprised and reassured by their reaction because... Love is all around you. Wow. And they may be opening up and sharing something of their own, you know, with you being so vulnerable with them. Okay, Pisces, let's see what we've got here for a healing oracle for you. I do offer personal readings, guys. Check out the description box down below. And uh, if you're interested or you can't see the prices, you keep clicking more. I think you have to do it twice. And uh, everything's in the bottom there of that description box for the video. And um, as well, the Rock Space is having store-wide 40% off, guys. And you can get an additional 15% off using my code, which is my first name, J-A-I-M-E. So check out the Rock Space. They have over 15,000 different types of stones there. They have amazing merchandise, beautiful things like singing bowls. And uh, they have uh, beautiful, whoops, sorry, beautiful candles here and uh, beautiful cluster stones those are all from there, guys. So uh, let's see what we've got, Pisces. Return to heart. I breathe light and stick to the essentials for my soul, the present moment. I calm my thoughts, focus on my heart, and find peace to be where my light and greatness are. I find peace and inner silence. Love this, Pisces. I really feel like this is what you needed to hear. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really helps support my channel and I could really use your help. Um, my channel is just like dwindling down to uh, not too much. Uh, I, um, I'm i not sure what's going on. I see YouTube promoting all these brand new channels and promoting popular channels and anyone in between gets, uh, you know, the uh, Royale treatment for some reason. Uh, I discovered that. I don't know if you guys noticed in your home feed, in your YouTube, all the new uh, videos that pop up, they're all brand new channels or really established channels that have like, you know, uh, I'd say 500K or more. And uh, they're, those are the only ones getting promoted because uh, my sh my video sure ain't. Anyway, guys, if I uh, share the reading with anybody who you feel uh, may uh, want to or need to hear these messages and um if you guys want to help support me, that's what you can do. I know a lot of people have been asking, and um, I am having this problem looked into by YouTube. It's just been three weeks now that they've been looking into it. I asked for an update last week, and I was told to uh, hold on to my horses. So uh, I'm trying to hold on to them as much as I can. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's what I have for you guys. So thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, Pisces. Love ya. Bye. Hi, Cancer. Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. Let's get into your reading. We're going to start off with rolling the dice. They have every letter of the alphabet on them, including for a while. I'm going to keep rolling until I have five different letters. This could confirm your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials. Really, whatever helps you identify who it is you're dealing with could even uh, spell out their name. First letter we have is X. E. <laughs> well, X, <laughs> this could uh, yeah, <laughs> be your X. We've got the letter U, Q, and uh, the letter Q again. Could be significant for some of you. The letter X again. One more, baby. One more X. Come on. Come on. Ah, we got the letter G. <laughs> so, uh. We've got E, X, U, Q, two times, and G. Let's see uh, if we can see what uh, sun sign you're dealing with or what element you're dealing with for Cancer Spirit Guys. Uh, who is Cancer dealing with? Fire. So you can be dealing with Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, somebody very fiery, somebody who's very confident, very optimistic, very passionate, and brave. Oh, sounds like uh, my kind of person. 
Okay, now uh, let's uh, see if uh, you should stay or you should go. Should I stay or should I go now? If I stay, I should be trouble. I have no idea what the lyrics are. <laughs> Okay, so you could be dealing with the fire sign cancers. Um, we're going to see what comes out to uh, understand whether you uh, should stay in this relationship you're in currently or if you should uh, GTFO. Four of Pentacles. I feel like you've already decided. Four of Pentacles is pulling back your energies. You know, being stingy with your time, your energy, your money. Well, 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 we have a king of cups here. You deal with another cancer, another water sign, Pisces or Scorpio. Here comes the sun. Do, 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 do. Leo energy. Well, well, the sun, I mean, is uh, one of the uh, happiest, most positive energies that you can get in a, in a reading. And wow, wow, look at the magic, the icing on the cake, lying, cheating, stealing, huh? doing something you shouldn't be doing and hoping nobody notices, you know, trying to get away with it, you know? Yeah, I feel like things were great and they weren't. Mm. All right, Cancers, let's clarify that four of pentacles. Clarify the four of pentacles, okay. Are you effing kidding me? No wonder you pulled your energies back. You can tell this person is lying or cheating or doing something behind your back. They are not supposed to be doing. They're hoping you don't notice. Like, oh, Cancer, look over there. You're like, no, I, I see what you're doing. Yeah, I ran the cup. I am not blind. I ran the cup, Cancer, that's you. And uh, yeah, you could be dealing with this... Uh, King of Cups, who, uh, you know, before was uh, very trustworthy and slowly um, became untrustworthy. So we've, if that's even a word, we've got uh, the death, a Scorpio energy. OK, la mort is death. Needing to let go of that energy. You need to let go of this. Like, don't just pull back your energies. Bye bye, mon cowboy. Bye bye, mon gigolo. You gotta, like, uh, mitsu it a bit, you know, and uh, tell them how it's going to be. You were perfect for me, and then, well, what the F happened to you? I don't know. Okay, I don't know what happened to your person. They went, I think, I don't know if they were like the devil in the disguise all along. You're like, did they ever love me, Jamie? <sighs> we're going to find out here. <sighs> Look, valet de Pontac, they weren't going to give you much more than this. Mm, I feel like you were more invested than they were. Six de baton, six of wands, Leo energy. Uh, you know what I'm feeling? I'm feeling what didn't kill you? It made you stronger. You know, as much as you disliked them, they made you a stronger person. Because every time you conquer some sort of uh, issue or problem in your life, it just helps you grow. And no, you don't want to go there again, right? Already been there. It's H-E -H double hockey sticks. Look, look, look. Uh, Ren Dippy, the Queen of Swords, that's you. You are done with BS. You're like, give me another BS sandwich. And it's off, off, off with your head. Absolutely. So, uh, and I feel like you're gaining your confidence back. You're feeling good. You're standing your ground. And, well, because you healed the Four Swords, uh, Quatre d'Epée. Uh, this is taking a step back, reflecting, recuperating, recovering, and really trying to find, uh, you know, your way toward uh, the light and away from this uh, deceptive energy. La Rue de la Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, Destiny, fate, divine timing is what is guiding you in the direction that you need to go in. And you will have victory and success. And I feel like a lot of people are going to admire you for not staying unhappy in a connection. Okay? And I feel like you're going to inspire other people to remove themselves from their connection. Are you kidding me? Eight of Cups is letting go of emotional baggage. What's no longer serving you? What, the liar, the cheater, the stealer here, the Seven of Swords? This reading is just... Woo. GTFO, baby, you have given enough of yourself to this person, okay? Le Ponzu is the hangman where you, uh, you know, wake up and have, uh, you know, a spiritual awakening going like, 
whoa, I've been like self-sacrificing my entire life for this person. I've been unhappy and I've been staying unhappy. Why am I doing this? Yeah, four cups, you're constantly being disappointed. Why? Do they beg for forgiveness every time and you cave? I, that's what I'm getting here, some of you guys. You know, they beg and beg and you just and you just cave. And it's just like a vicious cycle that's not really uh, accomplishing anything. So uh, let's see, Cancers, what we have. Uh, so uh, close your eyes and whether you're in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy channel, all the words I read to resonate within your heart center. Well, 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 looky here, Cancer, your smile, it illuminates my soul. It makes me feel whole. There is no part of me that your love cannot fill. From the first moment we met, I am forever grateful and I count my blessings each day. My beloved jewel. Ooh, Ooh this is hot. Don't you want uh, this uh, new connection? You need to uh, let go of this uh you know, energy that does not deserve you at all. So let's see what we've got for a healing oracle for you guys. Healing oracle, please, for the sign of cancer. Healing oracle for cancers, please. Courage uh, makes you stronger. I'm stronger than fear and bigger than doubt. I am light and I remain light. I trust in God and stand tall before the tests of life. I grow and become wiser through every challenge. I am a being of new life. C'est beau, hein? Huh? Yeah, c'est beau. It's beautiful. Very beautiful. And guys, I do offer personal readings and everything's in the description box down below. Just click on more and I believe more again and it will open up all of the details and um, you can send me an email. Just so you know, I already have four books. Uh, I will be taking four more that will be done within the three to five business days. Anything after that could take a little bit longer, okay? Because I still have to do my channel along with the personal readings, you know, because uh, girls got to make some money, right? I don't want to move into a paper box down the street that would not be pleasant and uh, the way my channel is going uh um, v may very well be <laughs> anyway um don't forget to thumbs it up it would really help support my channel comment down below share the reading with anybody you feel may need to hear these messages and uh, so you don't miss any videos make sure you hit subscribe and as well if you want to help support me so uh have a great morning night evening afternoon cancers and i'll see you guys soon love you Hey Scorpio, Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. It's your turn. Let's get into your reading. We're going to start with rolling the dice. They have every letter of the alphabet on them, including four wild. I'm going to keep rolling until I have five different letters. Could turn out it's your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, really whatever helps you identify who it is you could be dealing with, okay? First letter is E. And wild, of course. Wild again. Wild again. T. Okay, so E.T., E.T., phone home. <laughs> uh, J. So we've got uh, Jet. Well, could be somebody's nickname. A. And uh, we've got I. So E, T, J, A, and I. Well, there you go. Let's see if we can uh, get you guys uh, a little bit more uh, confirmation on who you could be dealing with. Can you get their sun sign or their elements? So let's see who Scorpios are dealing with, spirit guides. Who are, oh, fire. So you deal with somebody who's got confidence, optimism, passion, and bravery. Yabba dabba do. Sounds good to me. Okay, well, let's uh, see now. Should you stay or should you go, Scorpio, is the big question we've got, right? Should I stay or should I go now? We're going to find out, okay? So, Scorpio, let's see. Should Scorpio stay or go? The magician is out here. You have free will. Stay grounded, but you can create and manifest the, the life that it is that you want to desire. You don't need to stick around if you're not happy. 
with someone. And if you can't decide whether or not you want them or not, doesn't that kind of answer your question right there? Why are you questioning it? If you really wanted to, you wouldn't be questioning it. A ten of cups. Happily ever after. The end. And I feel like that is what you want. That is what you want to manifest. But what keeps happening? Come on, little devil. Be my little angel. Devil in disguise, right? Okay, the devil inside. The devil inside. Every single one of us has the devil inside. In excess, man. Well, look at that. Eight of Wands is this... Fast forward moving energy. Is this an energy of communication? Uh, are you thinking of moving? Well, we're going to find out. So uh, let's uh, clarify these energies here uh, with my little uh, French deck. So uh, let's see what we have for you. So uh, the magician. Clarify the magician, please, spirit guides. For Scorpio. And what? <laughs> well, well, cavalier. The cup. Okay, I feel like somebody is going to tell you exactly how they feel about you. And I feel like that's what you've been manifesting. You're like, do you love me or not? Because I need to know. Do I want to know if this feeling flows both ways? You're just ready to pull back everything. And if they're not, you're like, well, never said I was then, you know. <laughs> And a happy Thanksgiving to uh, my American friends. Well, well, three of swords. Uh, you've been uh, visiting Heartbreak Hotel far too many times. And uh, yeah, it's like you want those ten of cups. And the more you want them, the further they go away from you, right? The devil. Okay, well, why is the ten of cups here? What is the ten of cups representing? Three of wands. I've been waiting. For someone like you to come into my life. Yeah, you've been waiting for those ten of cups. You're like, biological clock is ticking, male or female. You're like, uh, come on, chop, chop. <laughs> Lovers in a dangerous time. You're like, I am not um, getting myself into another situation unless I know it is the one. They are the one. And we got La Tempérance, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. An energy of healing. Guardian angel energy. Guardian angels protecting you. And the devil. Yeah, you just keep encountering the devil and you're like, I just want the Ten of Cups. You know, I'm not asking for much. Well, well, Laos DP, the Ace of Swords. You could be getting uh, some clarity, some victory, some success, some uh, communication, perhaps. Perhaps the communication you've been wanting. The uh, Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in tarot. Moving very slow. So I don't feel like this new beginning is coming in right away. I feel like there's a period of healing first. Mm, of course there is. Ten of Swords. Dun, 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 dun. And perhaps some of you guys, like, physically move, like, really need to GTFO, like, let's, let's see what uh, we've got here for the Eight of Wands. Uh, clarify the Eight of Wands, please, for Scorpios. <laughs> it could very well be. This is the energy of buying a new house, buying a new car, getting engaged, getting married, building a family, changing careers. Uh, an abundant new beginning. And look at this, Le Chariot, the Chariot Cancer Energy. This is you finally deciding to move your life in a new direction toward victory and success. And the Ace of Swords is victory, success. So is the Chariot. So um, I'm seeing things improving, but you need to uh, you need to let let them go. All they're doing is breaking your heart. And uh, I feel like the right person will be coming along, maybe not as quickly as you would like. Two of Pentacles. So work on balance in your life. Work on balancing things in your life so that you're ready for when they arrive, right? So uh, let's see what we've got here for a soulmate card for you guys. And I do offer personal readings. Check out the description box down below. And uh, all the details are there. Just click on more and then more again. 
So uh, close your eyes, Scorpios, whether you're in a relationship or not. Focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart center. Wow. Okay, Scorpios, your love life will transform when you learn to truly love yourself just the way you are. You are perfect just the way you are. Accept this and you will be amazed by the changes it brings into your life. <laughs> yes, very, very true. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to get you a healing oracle to wrap up your reading, guys. So let's see what uh, Scorpios need to hear, spirit guides. What do Scorpios need to hear? The path to light. Uh, gorgeous. Very much needed. I make the conscious choice to move toward the light one step at a time. I transform my weaknesses into strengths by mastering my thoughts. I overcome obstacles with positivity and acceptance. I develop my gifts and extend my light to every being unconditionally. Love it. Okay, guys. Well, that's what I have for you. So don't forget to uh, thumbs up the reading. It would really help support my uh, my uh, falling apart channel. Um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, YouTube is still, uh, you know, reviewing uh, my channel. It's been going on three weeks now. I asked for an update, but uh, yep, they're still knee deep in it, I guess. I haven't seen any positive changes, so uh, I have no idea what's going on. But uh, anyway, I just feel like they're promoting small channels and big channels and anyone in between can just to, you know, take a, a flip and le leap off a short pier or something, you know. Uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, so uh, the way that you can help out, comment down below, share the reading with anybody who you feel may need it, hit that bell. I know sometimes you don't like the bell because it's too many notifications. I know the feelings, so don't worry about it if uh, you don't uh, like that bell. And uh, just make sure you're subscribed and that you thumbs it up because uh, that would really mean a lot to me. So uh, thanks, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. So, uh, score Scorpio, I love you guys because I'd be nothing without you guys. Love you. Bye. Hi, Libras. Happy Thanksgiving. Welcome to your reading. And uh, let's get started. We're going to roll the dice. They have every letter of the alphabet on them, including for a while. I'm going to keep rolling until I have five different letters. Could end up being your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials. Really, whatever helps you identify who it is you could be dealing with, Libras. First letter is P. And we have R and O. Oh, pro. <laughs> and uh, we've got Z or Z. Hey, if we get N, we've got some porn. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. Oh, my goodness. We got N. I swear to God. Look, see. <laughs> we have porns with a Z, Z on the end. Oh my God, that's too funny. Anyway, uh, let's see what comes out for you guys for who you could possibly be dealing with, sun sign or element. Uh, so I might uh, clarify uh, who it is you're dealing with. So uh, let's see what we've got for you. Air, you could be dealing with another Libra or an Aquarius or a Gemini. Okay, and this says, um, open-mindedness, objectivity, and learning. Yeah, I forgot my glasses. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to give it a go without them. So uh, now uh, we're going to see whether you should stay or you should go, Libras. Should I stay or should I go now? Should you stay or should you go? If you're already asking yourself that question, you already know what the answer is. Because if you were happy, you wouldn't be asking that question, right? So uh, let's see, Libras, what comes out? Prince of Wands. Oh, mon Dieu, le diable, the devil comes out. Capricorn energy. And then we get the Queen of Swords. Here you are, Libra. You're like, uh, I don't think so. I'm not interested. What's your name? Not interested. <laughs> That's your new name, okay? If the devil energy comes your way. 
And then we've got the three of pentacles. Teamwork makes the dream work. And well, you're not feeling team player from this energy. Mm. I feel like you're kind of feeling the opposite. Okay, Libras, uh, let's see what we've got here for that Prince of Wands energy. Why is the Prince of Wands here, Spirit Guides? Is this representing that that devil energy really doesn't have much to offer? It could be young, immature, or just, uh, you know, older than immature. <laughs> Age doesn't matter when it comes to maturity, right? It's all in how you carry yourself. The Two of Swords, Le Deux DP. Well, uh, being in a situation that uh, you wish you weren't in or needing to make a decision you're not sure that you want to be making. And, uh, hmm, valet de coupe. This is having a crush, uh, an intense crush. Huit d'épée, the eight of swords, uh, being in a self-imposed prison in your mind, uh, feeling like you can't let this person go. Perhaps you're trying to release somebody from your energies and no matter what you do, it's like you can't, you can't, they have, they, they have a spell on you or something, or they have this, this connection to you and you can't, you can't, that you can't escape the devil Capricorn energy. Clarify the devil spirit guides. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? Nah, okay, the ninth major corner, la justice, justice. And uh, this is your energies, Libras. Legal binding agreements, balance, commitments, marriage. Yeah, I don't know about this uh, energy here with the devil. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, the devil inside, the devil inside. Every single one of us has the devil inside. Well... This person, it's like double, okay? It's uh, it's confirmed that uh, this energy is uh, toxic. Okay? Two of Pentacles, uh, juggling energy. I feel like this person's a juggler, you know? Not a circus, circus juggler, but uh, a people juggler, you know? Somebody who, um, you know, says the right thing, but in deep down inside... Uh, they don't mean it. Nine of wands. You're about to ready to give up on love. Like, I just keep finding one loser after another. Okay, the devil twice. You're just like, done. J'en ai plein mon colis de chapeau. Okay. Uh, this expression is, uh, you know, uh, well, I've had enough, pretty much. Okay, chapeau's a hat. My hat is full is what I said. It sounds better in French. <laughs> Everything sounds better in French. Okay, well, well, well. Uh, we've got Le Roi de Coupe. Uh, a water sign here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody who uh, has a lot of love to give. And this person can be somebody you work with. Three of Cups. And you may meet them at a party, a celebration, the Three of Cups. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the Three of Pentacles, uh, wow. I feel like you guys are like three and three. You guys have this uh, this amazing connection. And perhaps this is something that's been there for a while, but has blossomed into something more, right? Mm, valet de Pentacle. You know, I feel like they're going to ask you out on a date. They're going to be asking you to, uh, hey, you want to get together? And like, it's going to create an abundant new beginning. This is the energy of getting engaged, getting married, uh, buying a new house, buying a new car, starting a new job, a new career, a new adventure in your life that is bringing you a lot of abundance and joy. Five of wands. Uh, but you can't be uh, telling this person, um, you know, that you're... Um, I don't even feel like you're going to be telling them or showing them how guarded you are. OK, because you're just so used to conflict and drama and uh, yeah, I don't feel like this person is bringing any of that in. OK, and what I'm also getting here, some of you guys could be worried about how people at work will see the two of you guys connecting. Is this allowed? Is this something that's allowed? Because if it's not, then I feel like you, some of you guys may have to like hide from your uh, 
coworkers or other workers or your boss or, you know, you have to sneak around to be able to enjoy each other. That can be difficult. Uh, so uh, obviously not for everyone. Okay, Libras, let's pull out a soulmate energy for you. Soulmate energy. So close your eyes, whether you're in a relationship or not. Focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe and relax. Feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words that I read to resonate within your heart center. Oh, I love this. Okay, Libras, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> I want to make sure my microphone was actually recording. And I believe I checked it before, but I couldn't remember in my mind. I just kind of went, went sideways there. I apologize. I did a four-hour video once, uh, all signs, a couple weeks ago. I forgot to turn the volume back on, so that's why I just got paranoid for a second, okay? So please bear with me. Okay, so everything happens for a reason, Libra. And even though the reason is sometimes unclear, I graciously accept all that transpires in the knowing that it unfolds through love in accordance to the divine will of my soul. I'm a Libra rising. I'm like, oh, is this what I'm supposed to take from that? <laughs> Well, well, <laughs> let's get you a healing oracle, Libras. Healing oracle for the sign of Libra spirit guides. I'm a Leo sun, Leo moon, Libra rising. So if anyone was curious. <laughs> oh, let's see what we've got for a healing oracle for you guys. I'm trying to read it with my old eyes. Listen to life. Oh, good. It's a short one. <laughs> That's not what she said. <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. Okay, I am attentive to the world around me. Signs and symbols guide me to success. I listen and discover the way to the eternal. Love it. And you've got three and three here. So you've got two threes. I mean, 333 could mean something to you guys. So, uh... There you guys go. Don't forget to thumbs it up. Subscribe to the channel would really help me. And I'm uh, almost wanting to beg. My channel has been going down the tubies. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching for a while, but I've been at 117K for a few months. And uh, I used to go up between three and a half and 4,000 subscribers every 28 days for the last three and a half years. And the last six months, my channel has been going... <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on, but anyway, I'm still waiting for uh, YouTube to like get back to me. They've been looking into this for three weeks now, and I'm um, hearing nothing but crickets. You know, Bueller, Bueller, anyone. Kind of what I'm feeling. <laughs> but anyway, you either laugh or you cry. So I'm going to choose to laugh, right? Positive energies, right, guys? If that's what I promote, then that's what I got to show, right? Yeah, baby. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. If you guys want a personal reading, everything's in the description box down below. And trust me, I'm just as entertaining in your personal readings because I'm just, this This is me, man. It's, it's just me. There's no acting or performing here. Just saying. So uh, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, guys. And don't forget to do that thumbs up, subscribe. I know the bell's a lot to ask. I only have the bell on for three channels because, uh, you know, you'd be constantly getting notification after notification. I know some people don't like that. For me, it doesn't bother me. I just swipe away, but whatever. Anyway, guys, love you, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. So have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, and um, I'll see you guys soon. I'd be nothing without you guys, so I do love you so much more than you know. Bye, guys. Hey guys, Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. I'm here to do your reading, Aquarius. So we're going to start off with the uh, the dice, and they have every letter of the alphabet on them, including four wild. I'm going to keep rolling until I have five different letters. Could end up being your person's first name, their last name, your initials, their initials, really. Whatever helps you identify who it is you could be dealing with, okay? First letter we have is B. And we've got wild, of course. S. And we have P. B S P. And we've got B S for bulge, right? Oh, we got wild. Of course, of course, we got wild. We got G. And uh, last but not least, we've got wild. And we.
we've got the letter L. So we've got uh, B, S, P, G, and L. All right, guys. Let's see um, if we can confirm even further who it is that you're dealing with, okay? Could be either element that comes out or their sun sign. So let's uh, let's see what comes out to choose, see who Aquarius could be dealing with, spirit guys. Air. You could be dealing with another Aquarius or a Libra or a Gemini. Nice. Okay. And this person is very open-minded, very objective, and very willing to learn. Okay. Well, let's see uh, if you should stay with this person or if you should go. Should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go now? Let's see, Aquarius. Aquarius' energies. Remember to leave the energies that do not resonate, okay? You can't resonate with every energy here. I mean, you could, but not everybody would, right? Okay, well, well, well. We've got a little Mr. and Mrs. Guarded here, okay? So you got your uh, your wand standing your ground here, and uh, you're not uh, letting down this guard at any point, anytime soon. Why? Five of Pentacles, okay? Did they ghost you? Did you ghost them? Did something happen where things just suddenly ended? Did they just disappear? Poof, like a fart in the wind, come out, pet thy liar. Could have. Wow, bad say, look who we've got here. The King of Wands, uh, fire sign of Leo, Aries or Sagittarius you could be dealing with. Somebody very confident, very bold and assertive. They go after what they want. Rarely do they not get what it is they want. Four cups. Uh, but you are so disappointed. Dealing with a lot of disappointment. Okay, well, uh, let's clarify these. So clarify that seven of wands, uh, spirit guys. Seven of wands. Okay, so why is Aquarius just so guarded? Because you're wondering if this... If this uh, relationship is uh, is worth your time, your energy, your money, right? I mean, that, I mean, money is the root of all evil. I don't really like money. I wish money didn't exist, but that's another ball game. Valet de Pentacle, the Page of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, I feel like anybody coming towards you, you're like, um, and I can help you how. <laughs> La mort, the death, Scorpio energy, leaving the past in the past and letting it all go. Realizing it's done, it's over with. And look, if you do, a new beginning will follow. The Ace of Pentacles is, uh, you know, uh, getting engaged, getting married, buying a new house, uh, starting a new career, a new job. Something amazing uh, starts this abundant new beginning for you. Is this them disappearing like a fart in the wind? The blessing in disguise? You know, I'm feeling like you thought about letting them go and then they let you go and then you're just like, what the hell happened here? You know? Mm. It's almost like they beat you to the punch or something. I don't know. Five of Pentacles. Perhaps they could sense that you weren't happy and you were ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. You pulled back your energies. You know, Four of Pentacles is holding on tight to everything you've got. Your time, your money, your energy. You know, all of the whole shebang. And looky what we got here. Roi de Pentacle. The King of Pentacles. Uh, you know, could have been a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn you were dealing with. Next, we're clarifying Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Well, well, uh, we've got L'Empereur, the Emperor. Wow, this person you're dealing with or... You know, who uh, just kind of left you out in the cold. I feel like somebody's in a position of power, authority. Um, you just felt like there was just something about this person that you suspected that there was uh, something going on. And uh, I don't know if you've ever gotten down to the bottom of it or if you ever will. But I have this feeling that this person was already in a committed relationship is what I'm getting. And that is what you were sensing, like, should I stay? Should I go? Who is this person, you know? Mm. King of Wands, well, well, it's a liar, cheater, stealer. Somebody who you shouldn't trust. Mm. 
you know, got to be careful, man. I feel like there's just <sighs> energies here that aren't trustworthy. Holy shit, effing freaking bonkers. Okay, this is the Rico Suave. Rico is R-I-C-O, Suave. Okay, S-A-U-V-E, I believe. Anyway, if you will look him up on YouTube, you're going to see what I'm talking about. This is a neighborhood bicycle or motorcycle. Everyone's taking a ride on, you know? Hey, guys, no squeaking. You love it, my new chair? Yeah, I begged uh, for a new chair, and my whole family got together and uh, got me one, so I'm pretty happy about that. So, uh, player, 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 player. They are a player. You know that song, right? Players only love you when they're playing. Mm-hmm. They love you when they're playing. And then when they aren't, they're cold, distant. Poof. Gone. Right? And you're just like, <laughs> I don't want to tolerate this. Well, don't. Look, sadness. Three of swords. You're constantly disappointed and sad and depressed. Like, the three of swords, the four of cups. Like, this is not a happy person energy. Okay, Aquarius? Need to run to the hills. Run for your life. Nine of wands. Uh, but you don't want to give up, honey. It's It's time. It's time. Okay, you don't want this person back. You know, I feel like it's the big D, right? I learned that on the show, the new show, The Odyssey. Uh, the big D, these uh, three women. Uh, one was married to the man, and then he had two uh, women on the side because he had a big D. And that's what they called them, the big D. And they were talking about how good it was to be with him. And I was just like, oh, my goodness. So I'm trying to think of where I was going with this. <laughs> Got the big D on my mind now. <laughs> I wonder if I'm actually blushing. Oh, seven of Wands. Are you kidding me? You are guarded like Fort Knox, man. Nobody's getting in or out. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Karma. Karma's a biatch for them. Let's just put it that way. If you're wondering if karma bit them in the ass, sure did. Sure did. Taking care of business. Yeah, karma. Taking care of business every day. Yeah, karma just takes care of business. Well, uh, let's get you guys a uh, soulmate oracle. So, um, Aquarius, close your eyes. Whether you're in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words I read to resonate within your heart center. <coughs> oh, your love is like a burst of sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I've got the month of May. Dum, 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 dum. So, uh, yeah, your smile is imprinted in my heart. Your beauty reflected by the stars. And your essence is the air I breathe. <laughs> That's deep. Someone's a poet and don't even know it. <laughs> oh, and so there we go. I didn't want to cough in your ear again. Let's get you guys a healing oracle, Aquarius. Healing oracle, please, for the sign of Aquarius. What do they need to hear, spirit guides? What does Aquarius need to hear? Me. Me, 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 me. I know some people are like, Jamie, stop saying it. I'm like, hey, I can't stop being me. If you don't like it, don't watch, man. Okay. Maybe that's where everybody's disappearing to. <laughs> Maybe my singing has been so terrible. <laughs> Everybody's been flocking away. <laughs> uh, so I allow serenity to reign in me. The love I have for myself invites harmony to settle within my being. I listen to and honor and strive to fulfill the needs of my soul. Oh, this is so for me too. <laughs> oh boy, guys. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the reading and I love this message for you. 
I'm sorry, like my subscriber count's just been going downhill and everything's been going downhill with my channel and I have no idea why. Apparently everyone who's kind of, uh, you know, a mediocre channel like mine um, is uh, barely getting any... Um, um, being no feature on on youtube they're uh really just promoting more uh brand new channels and um already established really popular channels so uh, anybody in the middle um yeah they decided to uh you know take away all of our income and uh, make us like um you know invisible all of a sudden so anyway, guys, the way you can help me is comment down below, share the reading with anybody who you feel could resonate with these messages and um, subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, I know the bell is a little much to ask because uh, it creates a lot of notifications. Uh, you know, and if you got it for multiple channels, it can drive you a little bananas. <laughs> so uh, I totally agree if you do, uh, you know, about that bell. But, uh, you know, it's your prerogative, whatever you enjoy. If you want to know every time a video comes up, well, hit that bell, baby. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. If you want a personal reading, everything's in the description box down below. Just click on more and then more again and everything will be down there. Send me an email. I already have four bookings. So uh, if you want a booking and, and have your reading in the next three uh, to five business days, send your email as soon as possible. Otherwise, you may be getting a response from me telling you it's going to be a little longer than that and uh, ask if you're okay with that. So, But you could be next in line so uh, or would be next in line, not could be. So uh, anyway, that's what I have for you guys and um i'd be nothing without you guys so i appreciate you guys more than you know aquarius have a great morning night evening afternoon wherever you guys are see you soon aquarius bye Hey guys, Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. I'm here to do your reading, Geminis. It's your turn. Let's get right into it. And we're starting off with the dice. They have every letter of the alphabet on them, including four wild. I'm going to keep rolling until I have five different letters. Could end up confirming your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, really. Whatever helps you identify who it is you could be dealing with, Geminis. So uh, first letter is the letter T. And we've got the letter R. And we have the letter G. Tiger! <laughs> B. And last but not least, S. S is in uh, Selena. So uh, we've got uh, BS for uh, bullshit. And uh, we've got... <laughs> So uh, anyway, you could be dealing with a lot of uh, BS right now. So uh, let's see if we can see the element uh, that you're dealing with or sun sign. So one or the other is going to come out and uh, see who uh, if we can confirm who it is you're dealing with. Yeah, I forgot my glasses, so I've been doing okay. I did two, two readings prior without them and we're just good. So oh my, oh me, you could be dealing with the Pisces. Uh, beautiful water sign who loves deep and unconditional. This person is very, uh, loves intimacy. They're very intuitive and very compassionate. So, uh, yeah, I, I feel like this could be somebody new coming into your life. Because uh, I feel like if you were dealing with somebody like that, you wouldn't be questioning if you should be with them or not. <laughs> well, let's just be real here, Gemini's. So uh, let's see, uh, should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go now? We're going to find out, Geminis. All right. The Chariot. Well, 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 the universe is telling you, you need to move your life in a new direction. Okay, we, we fear sometimes going into the unknown because we're just comfortable with the life that we're in, even though we uh, may not be happy at all in the life that we're in, but it's familiar. We know what to expect, and uh, uh, the surprises are, uh, you know, already expected. The Seven of Cups. You've got a lot of opportunities, a lot of direction that you could go in in your life. You do not need to stay in this direction. Are you kidding me? You've got the seventh major arcana, the chariot, the seven of cups, and now the seven of pentacles. Triple seven. All I hear is slot machines. Bing, 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 bing. Okay, if you win big money, let me know. <laughs> now we got the four of cups. 
Well, well, this is disappointment, so you may not want to go to the casino. <laughs> Spirit guys are going, yeah, don't listen to Jamie. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Don't go to the casino. You're coming out crying. <laughs> sure, we've all been there, right? Okay, well, I haven't gone to a casino in years. Well, first of all, I don't have any money, but... <laughs> Second of all, uh, I don't like to see my money just disappear like that, you know? So, uh, the chariot, uh, Geminis. Let's see what's going on with the chariot. Yeah, look, Empress Energy. Le Peratris is the Empress Taurus Energy, Geminis. You are given off the energy of new beginnings. The mother of all queens of terror, very powerful feminine energy. You know your worth. You're done with BS. And I uh, feel like you are moving uh, in the direction you want to go in. Laos Depe, the Ace of Swords. You're clear with your communication. You are clear and you want uh, to move in a new direction. You know, you want, you want victory. You want success. That is the energy of the Ace of Swords as well as the Chariot. And afraid to go into the unknown as I was talking about. La Lune, the Moon. You know, you're afraid of moving into the darkness because you're going to accept the familiar, even though you're not happy because you know uh, what you're getting. And walking into the unknown, you know, you you may be manifesting, you may have expectations, and then you may be highly disappointed. So it's easier to stay in the safe energies uh, is what you keep telling yourself, right? Mm hmm. Reine de Coupe, Queen of Cups. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You have lots of love to give. Unconditional, beautiful love. And this shows Pisces energy. It could be a Pisces that you're dealing with that just loves this about you. And I feel like the two of you guys are very, very intuitive. So I feel like you definitely want to leave the past in the past if you're not with this person, if you haven't already moved in this new direction. But I feel like some of you guys could even be physically moving, which opens up so many new opportunities because I don't see you finding happiness staying where you are. Nine of Pentacles, you're very independent. You're very grounded energy. And I feel like right now it's like you're not able to be your most authentic self due to this moon energy being afraid to step into the new, the darkness, the unknown. Yeah, four cups, you're so fearing disappointment. You're like, but Jamie, that could be my middle name, disappointment. Mm, that's sad, but I get what you mean. And, and, you know, if you're constantly dealing with sadness because you feel like you're making the wrong choices... Perhaps it's time to, you know, take a step back and reflect a little bit before you just run into another situation you don't want to be in, right? So Seven of Pentacles is needing to take that time to reflect, look at your life, look what it is that you've done so far, what you have accomplished, what your goals are for the future, and how you can accomplish those goals moving forward, and what it is that you need to do to accomplish those goals in your life, right? <laughs> okay. Valet de Pentacle. This is definitely new opportunities coming in for you. New opportunities that open up uh, new beginnings for you. And oh mon Dieu, ben c'est beau, c'est beau. Look at that. The Ten of Cups. You're going to make in, make in, make in sweet, sweet, sweet love in front of that fireplace. And then you guys are going to take a nap, and so is your cat. Your cat's going to need a little uh, cigarette after uh, you're done there. <laughs> it's exhausting watching you, and uh, they really need to, uh, you know, let out some steam. <laughs> Le Fou, the Fool, finally taking a leap of faith and not allowing the uh, unknown to scare you to move forward. I feel like you will accept... Uh, an invite from someone new that, uh, you know, is going to be um, a new adventure. And this person could be so different from your, your usual type and expectation. And I feel like that's kind of what tells you to just kind of go for it. And the Four of Cups. I mean, you've been so used to disappointment, Geminis. Um, 
I feel like that's all you focus on. So you really got to, you know, turn that frown upside down and you don't want it to uh, manifest negative energies, right? Because the energies that you're in are the energies you're going to surround uh, yourself with. And that's what you're going to attract in your life, right? So when you're in positive energy, surrounding yourself around positive people, uh, positive situations, it's a motivator. It's it's uh, it's like, um, you know, um, a boost of energy, right? Mm, the Ten of Wands. You've been feeling like your love life has been, uh, you know, a battlefield. Mm -hmm. Love is a battlefield, right? Ten of Swords. Are you kidding me? Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. It's time to put an end to this heavy burden and being sad all the time, okay? There's no need for that. Um, I feel like once you take that leap of faith and go into the unknown and let go of everything that's holding you back, look at this, manifesting. Manifest positive energies. Get out of this, okay? Oh, you know, I'm this, I'm to this, I'm to that, blah, blah, blah. If you don't like yourself, change yourself. You know why? You have every availability, you know, to do that. And uh, find some happiness in your life. Find ways to feel complete and content. Okay? You don't need another person for that. It's ridiculous to even think that. Okay? So let's uh, get you a soulmate card, Geminis. So uh, close your eyes. And whether you're in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe. Relax. Feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words that I read to resonate within your heart center. This is great, Geminis. A profound transformation is taking place in your life. Be yourself. You have so much to offer the world by just being you. Your love has the power to transform all things, including your relationship and love life. So get out of this funk that you're in and manifest positive energies, okay? Otherwise, you're just going to keep ending up disappointed over and over and over again. And it's a vicious cycle you won't be able to escape from. Okay, Geminis, let's get you a healing oracle to wrap up your reading. Healing oracle, spirit guides, for Geminis. Positive thinking. Are you kidding me? I just finished giving you shit, telling you to change your attitude, right? <laughs> Crazy. I can't make this up. I just can't, Geminis. My life is full of small patches of light. I direct my thoughts to that which brings me well-being. I place what is weighty for me into the hands of the universe. Little by little, the light awakens in my being and I find serenity. Beautiful. Very, very nice reading. I loved your reading. And I uh, hope you guys did too. If you'd like to help support my channel, uh, thumbs up and uh, subscribe and uh, hit that bell. If you'd like to be notified of new videos and uh, share the reading with anyone who you feel may need to hear these messages. And uh, just a little tidbit, you know, my channel's kind of been going down the toilet, uh, you know, the last six months. Uh, I used to get three and a half to 4,000 subscribers every 28 days for the last three and a half years. And the last six months, I've been... Uh, <laughs> quickly going down the mudslide. Now I'm lucky to get 400 subscribers every 28 days. So the uh, YouTube is uh, looking into it. I don't see any changes. I don't see any improvements. And I haven't even heard back from them. It's been three weeks. So I'm just kind of, uh, you know, hanging in the wind. Hanging in the wind like a leaf. <laughs> you know what? You either laugh or you either cry. I'm going to choose to laugh because you know what? Positive energies, you get better outcomes. So uh... <laughs> anyway, guys, um, if you want a personal reading, everything's in the description box down below. And um, I already have four bookings. So make sure if you want a personal reading that you get back to me or that you send an email in the next uh, little while because uh, I seem to be booking up quickly when I, I announce them. So uh yeah, or otherwise, I will tell you it's going to be a few more or a couple more extra days. So uh, hopefully you're OK with that. And if you are, I will add you to uh, my worksheet and uh, Trello is what I use. Trello. I love that thing. I don't know if you've ever used Trello to organize your work, but I love that app. 
So uh, anyway, uh, that's what I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon, Geminis. And uh, love you guys more than you know. Bye. Take care. See you soon. Bye.